Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to install Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. Installing Windows 10 on the Steam Deck is extremely easy. It's the same as installing Windows 10 on a PC. All you're going to need is a flash drive that is 8 gigabytes or more. You can use a flash uh, USB-C flash drive, but I'm just using a regular flash drive. If you use a regular flash drive, you're going to need a dock as well because the Steam Deck only has USB-C, so you're going to have to have a dock to install it as well. So let's get straight into the video. Also, before I start this, I do want to say that this is not a dual boot guide. This is just if you want to erase SteamOS and have Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. I will have a video up for dual booting if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the installation media for Windows on the USB drive. So after you search it up, I'll have this linked in the description as well. You can go ahead and hit Windows 10 right here. Scroll down. It says create Windows 10 installation media. Go ahead and click download now. Wait for that to download. Once it's downloaded, go and click and open it up. This box is gonna appear saying getting a few things ready. Once that's done, you're gonna to have to accept the license agreement. After you accept the license, it's gonna slow for a little bit and then it's gonna bring up this page right here. So what do you wanna do? Make sure to click create installation using a USB and then click next. On this page, you don't have to do anything, just click next and then choose which media to use. Go and make sure it's selected on the USB flash drive, click next. And then find your flash drive. My flash drive is right there, it says USB and then click next. It's gonna take a little bit for your flash drive to be ready, but once it is, go ahead and click finish. Your USB flash drive is now ready. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn off your Steam Deck and plug in the USB flash drive. Now just hold the volume up button and keep it held down the entire time after you press the power button. When you do that, this screen is gonna pop up. This is the BIOS, and in the BIOS, use the directional pad and scroll over to the boot manager and press A. Here you're gonna see a list of drives on the deck. Scroll to find the USB drive that you installed Windows on and press A when you do. Now this is gonna launch the Windows installation tool and the screen does go portrait. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that later. Now just press next and install now. You will get the screen right here asking for a product key. Press I don't have a product key, you're not gonna need one. Now select the Windows version of your choice. I went with Windows 10 Home. After that, it will show the license terms, accept it and press next. Then on this setup page, make sure to press custom install. Here you will see a bunch of partitions and you can just start selecting each one and deleting every one until there's only one left. Once it's just one, you can select it and press next. Now you're just gonna let Windows do its thing and once it's done, it'll go into regular setup and you can set up however you like. This is more of a personal preference and whatnot. You will get to a screen where it says connect to a network and you can press I don't have a network. If it does show a network, you can go ahead and select it and sign in. Once that's done, you're almost done with installing Windows 10, but you do need to update it. So you can go ahead and plug the Windows 10 USB drive that you just made and format it because you will need it for the drivers you're gonna have to install for Windows from the Steam Deck site. After you format the USB drive, head over to Steam's website. I have it linked in the description. Here you will find the drivers for Windows on the Steam Deck. It is important to download every single one. Once downloaded, you can move them over to the flash drive and plug it into the Steam Deck. So now that we're in Windows 10, we can go ahead and fix the orientation of Windows by clicking the Windows icon, click Settings, click System, and then you're gonna see Display, click Display. Scroll down to where it says Scale and Layout. You're gonna see Display Orientation. Click that and switch it to Landscape. Now plug the USB into the Steam Deck that you moved the drivers on. Once you do that, a box will pop up that looks like this. It is important to extract these drivers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click the driver that says Arith. Windows driver. So after you right click, you're gonna see where it says extract all. Click that and we'll bring up this box. Go ahead and click extract. Once that's done, it will show the extracted file. You can now double click the Arith Windows driver folder until you see the setup and then double click setup. It'll bring you to this and you can click install. You can decide if you wanna restart or not. I did. Next, let's install the Wi-Fi drivers. Again, right click the folder that says RTLW LAN. Click extract all, once that's done, you can double click each folder until you see setup again, double click setup and run through the installation. Anytime a box like this pops up during all of this installation, click yes. Once that's done, you can now connect to a Wi-Fi network as you can see right here. Next driver we're installing is the SD card reader. Again, right click it, extract, once that's done, do the same thing, double click until you see setup, double click setup, let it run the installation, hit yes, then next, and you can let it restart, I didn't let it restart this time, and you're finished with that. Next up is the Bluetooth driver, which is labeled Blue R. Same process as the rest, right click, extract, but this time there won't be a setup box. You will need to click the folder that says 64, and then see this file that says RTK filter, but it has a little gear and it looks like a piece of paper. You're gonna right click that and hit install. Last drivers are the audio drivers, and this is very important. You need to install the driver that's labeled CS35 first, so go ahead and right click that and extract. 
When you open the folder, you can see this file with the gear, the same as the last one before. Right click it and install. Now let's do the last audio driver labeled NAU. Same as the rest, extract, open the folder and right click the paper icon with the gear and hit install. Now all the drivers are installed. However, we do need to update Windows so it has antivirus and everything it needs to run efficiently. So you're gonna go ahead and click the Windows icon on the lower left corner, click settings, scroll down until you see update and security, click that, then click Windows update. And once you see check for updates, press that. From here, just go ahead and let it update everything and restart your computer afterwards. Congratulations, once you've done this, you've successfully installed and got Windows running on the Steam Deck. Now, before I end the video, I will show you how to enable the on-screen keyboard. A lot of people have this issue. On Windows 11, you really, there's really no way to do this because it's supposed to do it naturally, and it never does. But on Windows 10, you can click enable tablet mode. If you enable tablet mode, it will bring up an on-screen keyboard just like you see right here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go ahead and hit the Windows icon and click settings. Scroll down until you see tablet, go ahead and click tablet. And right where it says, when I use this device as a tablet, click on that and switch to always switch to tablet mode. This should help and when you're trying to type something in and you click on the screen and it brings up the tablet mode, that should help you. A really easy way to do this is if you click on the notification center on the bottom right of the Windows 10 screen, you can click tablet mode right there and switch right there. And that's it, that's everything. Thank you for watching the video. If I helped, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments.